There's a new show on Netflix called Young Famous and African. That they collected a few famous Africans and they made a show out of them. Now, the owners of the show say that this show is a chance for Africans to finally tell their own stories. But for me, the whole time I was watching, I was thinking, which part of this thing is my story? I'm African. <laughs> is very depressing. Okay, here we're not exactly starving. Uh, I mean, but these guys, <laughs> that way they keep spending money. They make you want to take your guardian angel to disciplinary committee because there's a part where Diamond takes Nadia, another star on the show, on the first date of buying cars. I didn't even know the word date like that. So they go to a showroom. Uh, I, I hope you realize I didn't say bond. I mean, the difference between showroom and bond. In a showroom, there is no spatio. Raum. So they go to a showroom and this guy goes further to tell uh, the girl to choose for him which car he should buy. Poverty guy. For you, you just take a girl to dinner and you see her asking the waiter, um, what do you serve with a quarter chicken? And you be there looking at her like... <laughs> the whole time you're eating your food, you're thinking, she is not wife material. <laughs> It is you, not material. <laughs> Next time, you just have to deal with it early. Just be like, ah, honey, what, what soda will you have with your plain chips? Chiveo. So the, the show is shot in South Africa. Yeah, the, the, the same way they took your traditional wedding to your rich uncle's house. Uh, it has a very cool cast. There is Diamond Platinum, there's Kanye, Swanky, Andile, yeah, the guy who every Ugandan girl falls for until like the fourth episode. When they realize he's a father, Abraham had many sons, sons, father, Abraham. And then, of course, our very own Zari, just causing all the inflation. You know, Zari makes entrance and diamond platinums immediately dumps the girl he was chasing. I mean, even his boys go to a point that like, hey, man, diamond, why would you do such a thing? And diamond says, you know what they say, you never throw away your chewing gum just because someone has given you a grip. It's a very smart saying. My only issue with it is how Diamond starts it, that you know what they say. Diamond, no one has ever said that. You said that. You. No one. The show also brings us into the life of Tubaba. Yeah, I, I now know why they used to call him Two-Face. But I'll concentrate on his wife. When they said that you should be your husband's biggest fan, Annie misunderstood the assignment. For she's actually a fan. She Googles him every day. She licks his face. She looks for him for an autograph. <laughs> My only issue with the show is the title. Okay, these guys are famous. Uh, they're also African. Okay, it's just, I think it's not right to start misusing words. Because young, you... <laughs> You can only call yourself young if your age is lower than your body temperature. You can't be there. You have baby pictures in black and white, and you're in a show for young people. Your baby pictures are knowingly invented filters. If on your birthday, your candles cannot fit on the cake. I have to tell you everything. You see, people on, the, people on this show are of the age when Life starts assigning us mysterious elements that will take us. And you're thinking, you're calling yourself. These things of being young, if in the age range where you belong, when people are getting into your age range, they say the word flow, you're no longer young. I mean, do you realize no one ever says, welcome to the first floor? Welcome to the second floor? <laughs> Stuff starts on third.